Is the stock market going to collapse down? I don't know. You're hearing all this fear, uncertainty, and doubt out there. And of course, when you get any kind of pullback at all, that's all you ever hear. The news flips from, hey, the biggest bull run in history. This is it. We're going all the way up another 180% to, oh, the end is near 90% fall off. And everybody believes it's the end of the market. It's all over. And it's, it's a, it couldn't be further from the truth. We have normal pullbacks. We have a lot of corrections. And it happens every year. Sometimes, depending on how big the pullback, multiple times a year. And so I'm here to talk everyone away from all this fear, uncertainty, and doubt. The FUD, as the press likes to push it, because it gets views. It gets views. People want to watch. But you know what it does? It costs you money. And we are in the game of making a ton of cash. And that's the plan. For those who are following my Discord, you know we have been crushing it. I have been absolutely dominating it this year. If you are not dominating, this is your chance, family. All you have to do to join my Discord, click the first link right down below. And once you click that, you will be taken to this page where all you got to do is scroll down. If you want to save 15% for an annual membership, click this. If you just want to be on there in the monthly, you click that. But the premium level for a little over just a buck a day will get you access to my bots, the AI plays, my new blue collar options start uh, tomorrow, Monday. Uh, so there are little options where I spend about 100 to 500 per play. There is a ton going on, and this is your chance to join. The course code Mo is now live. At checkout, you'll save 300 for the course, lifetime access to that course. And then, of course, the free stocks. I'm doing the small account challenge starting Monday, or not Monday, starting the first of the month. We're starting a brand new one. And so if you put 100 bucks in using the link, you'll get five free stocks. 1,000 gets all 15 plus the 8.1 APY. we got a lot going on. And i got to tell you, and I, I plan on having a lot of fun with the blue-collar options is what I'm calling it. Because what we're doing, we're bringing the lunch pail. We're going to try to make money on this thing. And, of course, these are going to be swing trades. And, of course, will we make 100% on some of them? In my mind, there's no doubt. Will we lose 90 to 100% on some? In my mind, once again, no doubt. In other words, this is going to be the high-risk stuff. So for those who have been wanting to watch, that is exactly what we're going to be starting on Monday with my long-term plays, my retirement money, my generational wealth money. All of that is all there for those joining. So we're going to find out. Now, here, check this out. This is what I wanted to talk about in this video. There's a lot of people who are, are screaming that the world is coming to an end. Mo, it's the end of everything. It's not. Let me educate you. For those who do not do not know who I am, Stock Mo, old financial advisor, broker, and educator, high school, college level. So put it all together. Smaller stock market corrections. How often do they happen? It tells you right here. Every year since 1980, almost. Well, I got the exact numbers in the next, next slide here. Uh, but here's the truth. On average, a 5% decline in stock market prices occurs 4.5 times a year since 1980. So you're talking 40 something years, 44 years. We have almost four to five times a year, the market will pull back 5% or more. And so when you see that, you have to understand that just because we have a little bit of a pullback and that takes us to how big of a pullback, how big of a pullback have we had? Uh, well, let's go year to date. We had one here. Remember it happens four to five times a year. Here's the first one, 5.46. There was your first one, right? And then up we go, we top out here, and it did not drop by that much. Then we go up here, and now you're hearing everybody talk about the end of the world again. It's 0.41%. You swear everybody says it's the end of the world. We're not even down 5% anywhere near 5%. It's 0.41. And they're talking about this is it. It's done. It's, it's going off a cliff. Now, uh, I don't know if it's going off a cliff. I still think the market will run all the way up to Q4, personally. I don't think we had that blow off top yet. And we will look at the technical analysis. But here's the second part you need to see, right? A market correction is considered to be a decline of 10% or more. We haven't had one of those in a while, right? Uh, how often do they happen? That means, historically speaking, they're about 1.84 years. So you're looking at about, well... One year is 12 months, 0.84, we'll say about 10 months. 
So about every 22 months. So that takes us back to this. So in the last 12 months, have we had a drop of 10%? Well, the closest would be right here. And the answer was yes. So we had it there. So from October to where we're at now, is that 18, is that 22 months? No, we're not, not even close. October to what, November, December, that's uh, two months there. And then we've got January, February, March, April, May, June, six months there. We're eight months into it. So for a 10% drop, Eight months later, 10 months later, that issue, we're not there. Could it continue to run? Absolutely. You got more and more spending happening. And I don't think people realize how this works, but these wars and these tens to hundreds of billions of dollars from all these countries around the world supporting the wars, uh, this money we're spending in the States that we did not expect to spend. And a lot of people admit that. They didn't, they didn't expect a lot of this funding to get passed, and it did. And then, of course, the student loans and all that playing into this. Man, there is this money flowing everywhere. And M2, for you economists out there, it continues to grow. You'll hear, oh, it's going backwards. It hasn't gone backwards since October. And you notice the market has been going up since October. Let me show you that one more time. When did M2 switch from going down to going up? Right here. Right here. That is when M2 switched from going in a decline to M2 increasing. So the more money they, they create, the more you're going to see this go higher. And they are still creating money. In other words, the, the, the little foundations for seeing the stock market to run are still there. Now, I have two stocks we're going to talk about in this video. Because I know they're two fan favorites. They're two that a lot of people are wondering and it's a tale of two cities. And I thought it would be interesting. NVIDIA is the first. NVIDIA is that one that seems to, you know, it's the, the two kids. One does everything right, and the other one seems to be doing everything wrong. Well, first off, 162% up. Year to date, this is six months into the year. It's just crazy. And then we go to my, the other child, Tesla, down 26%. Look at this. NVIDIA up 160%. Uh, 162%, Tesla's down 26% in the same exact period. Now, I would argue, as we look at these, Tesla, as we, we kind of pull this in there, has a, a great opportunity to finally start to run. And I think there is a chance. You, we have confirmed solidly above the 50. And now you're having a little consolidation because we broke the Bollinger Band. Kind of comes down. It doesn't retrace all the way back down below the 50. So as long as we stay above the 50, I feel like we have a good chance of having this thing run. Now, if you go to NVIDIA, tale of two cities, look at this. Every single warning sign that my bread bot can give you has been triggering. And you got above the RSI all the way up to almost 90. And so once you get to that point, you knew a major red candle was coming. We just didn't know where. But it would only take two candles to wipe out a week's worth of money. And over the next week or two, people ask me, what do you think is going to happen, Mo? I got to tell you, I think we're going to revisit the Goldilocks zone. I'm just going to tell you up front. And I believe we'll go to 114 to 107 as an ultimate bottom. And then it's going to retrace up and you'll get to a new high. That's what I think is going to happen. I think buyers will step in big time right in this zone. I know I will. And so this is where I'd be comfortable buying, between 107 to 114. That's for NVIDIA. So I think people will be willing to set stop losses, trailing stop losses, and that'll bleed all the way down to the 50. The 50 EMA will come up into that zone. This will come down to that zone, and we'll meet right in here, most likely in July somewhere. And once we get in, it'll be first week or second week of July. That's where we'll meet, and that'll come down. And then at that point, I'd be a buyer, and I think you'd run up. So that's what I'm seeing with that. But if you go back to Tesla, it's a different story. Tesla is bearish. Uh-oh, bullish was the flip. And what happened since then? 176, even though it's not a ton, we are up to 183. So it is correct. It has been moving up and actually blew all the way up to 190. But that broke the Bollinger Band, pushed down all the way to 50, which is normal, back to the 50, which is normal, back up. Now it's coming back down, and you're going to see this big, massive volatility until it calms down. 
and then I think slowly meanders up. And that's exactly what I think is going to happen with Tesla. So I think Tesla is in a very good looking spot. Uh, NVIDIA, I think, will be in a good looking spot once it gets that shaking of the tree, the loose leaves fall. We blow through all this over leveraging for the buying. It comes down to the 50. I think that is where anybody who's waiting to get additional shares of NVIDIA, that would be the spot where I personally would be looking to get in. I'm not looking to buy at the top. I'm looking to buy on a massive sell-off where it goes all the way back down to the 50 EMA, very similar to what you see here with Tesla. We tested the 50 twice, pushed back up. So now I feel pretty solid with it, and that's the way I would play it. You can let me know what you think, and, and while you're doing that, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel today and take advantage of a few things. Like I said, hit that first link, join, save yourself 15% if you'd like. Uh, that's only going to last until a couple of days. Then we're on July 1st, that's gone. So you can take advantage of that. And of course, the course code MO, MOE at checkout will save you over, it will save you $300. And that is a limited time, lifetime access to this course and this course Discord, which is separate from this Discord. That's a different one. And then, no way else. Oh, get your free stocks here. We're going to start that small account challenge. Uh, that's where we invest five to ten dollars a day. And so my goal is to teach a new bunch of people. We're going to do it every ninety days. Start a brand new one and help people out so they can do it. So all those who have been following my original, I'm starting a brand new one from step one. And that's going to happen every ninety days. So if you want to continue to follow and just add on the new ones, you can. It's up to you. But uh, if you guys are somebody new and like I want to do that. I highly suggest it. All you do is click the link, second link in the, let me show you, second link right here, Moo Moo, sign up, get you, put your hundred bucks in, get five free stocks, thousand get you all 15. While the cash is sitting in there, you're going to have an 8.1% APY for 90 days, which is fantastic. We will start July 1st on the small account challenge where we buy five to $10 worth of stock a day. And I'm going to teach you how to do that, get you set up, and we're going to have a good time. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you're interested in the blue collar options, sign up for my Discord today. That's starting on Monday. And we have private live streams for you over there as well. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and crush it.